and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some more Teamer Ramp. We're going to be playing this deck over in Ranked. It's the last day for uh, the ranking system today. The new season starts tomorrow. Seasons are uh, basically one month long. And we need to finish in the top 1,200 in Mythic by the end of the day. Right now we're at like a thousand something. So we're in there right now, but we're going to play some more ranked today and try to do some winning and move up a little bit. Make sure that we are safe. I'm going to play this teamer ramp version that we talked about at the at last time. Last time we played the deck, we didn't do real well with it, but I talked about how I wanted to change some stuff. Mostly I just wanted to take out Nyssa and not play Nyssa and instead play more Storm's Wraths and play Gadwicks. Um, and so I'm pretty excited to to try it out with this change. I think this this could be... Uh, really the change that we needed. We need more card draw with Gadwick and more removal with Storm's Wrath. Um, yeah, I think I think this is going to go pretty well for us. We got 30 lands in here. The deck's all about just getting as many lands into play as possible. And then casting huge Hydrocrasis, Gadwick, Explosion, you know, using Nyx Bloom Ancient to triple up your mana. I think this deck's pretty good, and it can do some super crazy stuff. So let's do that. Let's see. Um, let's see what we can do with it. All right, let's go play some some rank. Let's check. So where we're we at? We're at 1086. Haven't played ranked in a few days. So let's do that. Traditional standard ranked. Oh yeah, Golgari enchantments was last. Yeah, it's been a little bit. All right, here we go. Hey Schmidt, thanks for the resub, getting us to our sub goal. All right, so let's mark that down as a sub goal towards another 12 hour stream. All right, lots of lands. That's good. Do need another blue source for Gadwick. It looks like blue white control. Oh, I need to update the deckless command. go I can no longer stand by and watch this might be a bad idea <clears throat> I'll protect you all right and it's just basically sit back play lands right now because we're not drawing any any ramp so they discarded two lands over omen of the sea I've got it All right, we'll take that. I've got Obviously, it. if they have Dream Trawler, it's going to be really hard for me to win. But as long as they don't have Dream Trawler and just kind of sit back, um, the better for me. I guess I could play a land first so it doesn't get disputed, but it's fine. So I'm going to be playing Krasis this next turn. 
Here we go. So six. So we'll just do for six. No, not yeah. So the this is the list that we ended the last stream with. We talked about wanting to change a couple of things. That's that's good for me. Obviously, trading Storm Wrath with a counter spell, I'm all for that. Um, Yeah, I mean, I'm all I'm all for trading counter spells with Storm, Storm's Rats. We have like Escape to the Wilds. It's gonna be a five for one. Six. Hmm. I think they have two more. Counter spells. Oh, I could have played Uro. I, mean, I should have done that. Yeah, I probably should have played Uro. Try this. Down to just three cards. Six. Uh, eight. Ten. This thing again of just basically minus their Teferi to kill the Krasis. Trust me, I have a plan. That's true, I am focusing on the game. Keep this one. We have Castle Vantra set up some scries. gone. They have just three cards. It's not that many. Oh, that's the card I don't want to see, though.
Don't worry. I got this. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. I mean, I, yeah, so I could explode it, but they got, they still have the card in hand. They get to discard. I mean, I don't really have, like, the instant to tap it down with Gadwick right now. Scry two to the top. Interesting. It's probably not good for me. I need to find Nyx Bloom Ancient. You know, I haven't found that yet. Basically, find that and then explosion them enough to basically probably mill them out. Oh, like, we're probably milling them out before we're actually killing them. No, we don't, you don't need Jace in this deck. I mean, I don't know if they're leaving Teferi unguarded. I don't, I don't know. Like, they could be playing Time Wipe. Shatter the Sky. Okay. I like that. So they're just tapped out. Oh, man. Why can't I have Nyx Bloom Ancient? So how much do I got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It's like Explosion for 13. That's not really enough. Let's look for five cards. Ancient. There's an ancient. All right. So now we, now we get started. Okay. So three, six, nine. So I have one, two, three, four, five. So I have five. So that's fifteen. Um, you add green. You add blue. All right. Get another land in play. Um, put another land in play. So do I have one, two, three, four, five, six? So I have 18 mana now, and I'll play this. I have 21 mana. Where am I at? 16. Hmm.
Do I need to kill this Teferi? That's what I'm, that's what I'm kind of debating. I need to kill the Teferi. Probably not. So I play this. That's three, four, five. That's 15, 19 mana right now. Ugh. All right, what is what is this? Not really killing them this turn. I'm at ten cards. I'm trying to cast this, thank you. Yeah, I mean, I just have to hope they don't have a counter spell. I don't really care about a, a board wipe. It's a, it's all about a counter spell for explosion. They they, I'm pretty sure they have more board wipes. Like this whole game, they've gone through half their deck. They've only played the one. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen the left or right arrow key for lands before either. That, that made it more difficult. I was like, I don't, like, how am I supposed to tell how many lands I have? Come on, tap out. Play another Banishing Light. You know you want to. Yeah. Sorry, I'm late. All right. Well, that that makes no, it easy. I am not making this up as I go. All right. Three, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Did I count for us? I don't think so. So 15, 16, 17, 18. I think we have 18 lands. Sounds right. So 18 times 3 is 54. Minus 4 is 50. It's a nice 50 spot. Oh, I had some more mana. I could have done more. <laughs> I guess we had more mana. Who knows? <laughs> 50 wasn't enough. All right, so anyway, um, I'm really glad they wasted all those counter spells on all those Storm's Wraths. I'm taking out one ancient and 
bring in an agent on treachery and a gate. Do I want to keep one Storm's Wrath? Oh, Grazers. I knew there was another card I wanted to take out. There we go. Grazer. All right, so I could keep one Storm's Wrath, or I could play... So I could, I could play, like, one Hydra, one Storm's Wrath, or the second Ancient. I don't really love really any of the options, but, like, those are the options. I'm going to play one Storm's Wrath. <laughs> yeah, this deck is pretty epic. No, I mean, you don't really need a, a Wilderness Reclamation in this deck. I mean, it, all it does is help Expansion Explosion. It doesn't, like, everything else we got is Sorcery Speed. Yeah, and I don't like Reclamation at all. Just as, as a design, as a design philosophy, not, I don't like it. Not saying I don't like it, as in it's not good. It's very good. I feel like they're going to have, like, Mystical Dispute to counter the Uro. I'm going to play this Dryad instead. Yeah, that either guessed. That's fine. I've done the hero thing before. Such a braggart. That's more like it. Yeah, I've, I've taken out Nissa from the deck. Uh, to play more Storm's Wrath and Gadwicks. Just one, one of those things. I didn't, didn't like my opponent destroying my lands. With like their sweepers and stuff like that. Discard two Castle Arden Veils. That's awesome. Trust me, I have a plan. Fairy is pretty annoying. I decide on 30 lands. Yeah, basically because I cause started with like 28 and wasn't enough. Went to 29, wasn't enough. Gone to 30. Because this deck needs all sorts of land drops because, you know, like with these cards like Dryad and everything that can play all the extra lands, you just need lots and lots of lands. Um, this Teferi is really annoying. Because I, I play Ancient, they just bounce it with Teferi. Kind of the same thing with Dryad.
Don't worry. I got this. I'm getting too old for this. Um, so I could play Nyx Bloom and Dryad and hold up Negate, but obviously holding up Negate doesn't matter because it's a fairy. Well, I was kind of expecting End Step Sweeper. No, I haven't played a team or ramp with Leyline or in Wilderness, no. This might be a bad idea. I, I concur, that could be a bad idea. Got you. Of course, we gotta do all this sorcery speed because of Teferi. You can tell how we really need lots of lands. <laughs> think about like that last game and they're definitely really important with this deck here we go because we've only got let's see three four five six seven eight nine ten so we've hit ten lands I guess this we discarded one so eleven lands and basically half the deck I'm glad they discarded those Castle Iron Veils because it's like, not that they could have just. Uh... Um, let's see. Leave me green blue, thank you. Sure. We need more lands. I've got time. Color me not surprised. Uh, sure, whatever. You're a land. We'll keep ya. <clears throat> How's the control deck? Like, where, where's all their cards? What happened to all their cards? Hey, Jules. Mm 
Okay, okay. Keeping you honest. Maybe I should have started with Nyx Bloom Agent. Go with this. This is a land. Good. Um, let's play this thing. Just have millions of lands in play. <laughs> Team of Ramp, scroll on lands. Yeah, we put in a lot of we put in a lot of lands in these turns into play. My opponent has nine lands in play, like that's pretty good. How many do we have? Two, five. 9, 10, 15, Let's 19. We got 19 lands. Just have one card in hand. Gonna let this thing die. Yay. Okay. Play this. Counter unless we pay four. No, I'll just I'll just pay two. There we go. And we're just gonna be able to explosion them for twenty-four. Uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, because we had because we had eleven, so yeah, we had thirty-three. Yeah, so we had thirty-three mana. So it would have been an explosion then for 29. Alright, wanna know. I think we're going over the top of Blue Eye Control. It's basically if they play like early Dream Trawler, like that's what they need. They need early Dream Trawler, that's how we lose. If they just sit back and try to counter everything like that, like they're not winning. The way they they will, could win would be early Dream Trawler. Well, we need a lot more lands to put into play with all these growth spirals and Uros and stuff. But there are 30 in here. That's like the one of the only cards I would keep over a land. You know, so then gain gain life, help, you know, draw cards. <laughs> yeah, you, you want to play this enough and I'm so badly to be able to tell my friends I explosion you for 50. You should. This is a great FNM deck. It's, it's so ridiculous with all the rampant. Oh, I only have one blue source. That's sad. I don't get to double Grow Spiral or Uro plus Grow Spiral. We'll see. Blue land? No. Aura Sonic! 23 months. Thanks for keeping that sub going, Aura Sonic. You're amazing. Thank you. There's all my lands. That was a good escape to the wilds. 
matter, like, the kind of awkward thing, like, Grow Spiral is put a land from your hand onto the battlefield. You don't get to put, like, a, you know, like, one of these lands that are exiled with Grow Spiral into play. So, you know, we're going to be Storm's Wrathing and playing Dryad and then playing and playing these lands and probably Grow Spiral also. Yeah, it's like Forest Grazer. Grazer doesn't put a land into play. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That thing's big. It's weird that they would just sack the 3-4, though, right? Seems weird. I guess that's why they wanted to do that. They wanted to get food to sack. Hmm... I'm hoping to find, like, expansion where I could go, like, Storm's Wrath plus expansion. I'll copy it. Races for nine next turn. Boo. I was hoping they were going to kill the Dryad. I felt really good about this before that Corvold. But now after the, the Corvold, I wish I would have played the Storm's Wrath the turn before. I was pretty greedy of me not playing it the turn before, I guess. So yeah, it's... It's do they... Like, are they, do they have removal for Krasis? That's the question. Yeah, this song is great. Lido Shuffle. I'm not shocking. So I need to use the sweeper the turn before instead of play that escape to the wilds. Corvold's a big problem. Maybe I need to play some major and treacheries for Corvold. Let's try that. I'm going to take out the grazers and play a couple agent and treacheries. I guess I could play, you know, Voracious Hydra. I could just play Ether Gust. I might not be bad playing Ether Gust instead. Ooh, Frogify. Yeah, Frogify, sweet.
Yeah, they could just oven sack Corvold if I try to EH into treachery it. True. But at least it's gone. I'm going to take out Grazers and Gadwicks and play Frogify and Treachery. The reason why I have Frogify in the deck is because of Rotting Regisaur. Just, you know, like, like Rotting Regisaur doesn't die to Storm's Wrath and is, like, therefore really hard to kill. Perforos's intervention. Mm. I mean, you, you can make a really large creature, trample creature to attack, but I don't think it's too necessary. It's yeah, the removal part is just so expensive. Also for it, I just like expansion explosion more. Of course, I want to cast the Storm's Wrath before I play the Dryad. So next turn we play Dryad, play two lands, then the following turn we can play Nyx Bloom Ancient. And then the following turn after that, hopefully run tap with Ancient, and then do a lot of damage with some, or play something really big, like a, like a Hydro Crisis. You have to have the temple be the second land, because if I would have played the temple as the first land, then they could kill the Dryad in response to the temple, and then I don't get another land drop. Sure. I can steal a land with Agent Treachery. Or steal a Corvold if they play Corvold. Or I could take a 2-3. Hmm. What do I want to do? I kind of want to take this 2-3. So if I play the... If I shock Agent, I'm at 9. They have Noxious Grasp for Ancient. Kind of in trouble. This is the bad play against Corvold, though. But I feel like if they had Corvold, they would have just played it last turn, right? Like, that would have made sense, like, with their five five lands. Would have made a lot of sense to play it last turn.
this is the better play against. Uh, I don't know, the, the six mana. I don't know, just basically a removal spell. Better to do that. Looks like if I would have played Ancient, they would have played Crafter to weigh my Ancient. So now they only have just that one card, plus obviously they get, you know, their their draw step. They get another card with Cauldron Familiar here. Hopefully they don't find anything that kills the Ancient, but... Get that cool animation. Come on, let me untap. Let me untap. Do you want Hydroid or do you want Krasis? Those are your two options. Taking a graveyard card? What? What? They don't want Hydroid or Krasis. They want Agent Treachery from the graveyard. No. Yeah, I think yeah, how agonizing remorse it kind of like goes to like the graveyard first some sometimes. And so like maybe just like went to the graveyard first and they thought that was my hand and took an agent of treachery. Paul, thanks for gifting out a sub to MC Pi there. Thank you, Paul. That was a good top tech. Obviously had this one one. For that, like if they, you know, if they don't draw removal for Krasis, obviously this game is going to be over. And they drew the Crone War to take the first one, and then the Murderous Rider take the other one. Um.
another Nyx Bloom Ancient. That is pretty awkward how the Akron War works, I guess. I guess I it was just kind of in my mind always that like, you know, like you attack with your creature, it's tapped, and now then the third chapter it's gonna kill the tapped creature. But yeah, you have your untapped step first, because you know like this happening at the So yeah, like, and then they get the creature back. I guess that's a little a little more awkward. I was just kinda of in, in my mind thinking that, that it would have just um you know, not been like that. I, I'm not sure, Odisho. Um, I'm not, I'm not super familiar with exactly what Team of Reclamation looks like these days. I don't, I don't know exactly what to do to counter it, honestly. I haven't really gotten paired against Team of Reclamation very much. Hmm. Well, the Agent of Treacheries looked good. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm supposed to be playing these Ether Gusts. I don't really know where I would want to put them in. I mean, I guess I could take out Nyx Bloom Ancient. Nyx Bloom Ancient's probably just going to die, right? <clears throat> I'll play Ether Gust instead of Ancient, especially on the draw. Yeah, I mean, Negate's a, a pretty good card in the matchup, but just don't really have room for it. Like, I want to still be able to go over the top. You know, like, I don't want to dilute my game plan too much. And so basically, I just don't have room for Negates, but it it's a good card, though. Love struck beast is really annoying. It's five toughness. Why does it have to be five toughness? Why can't it be like a five four? It's a five five. Where's the lands at? That's the next question.
You keep on hitting those land drops. Good, good. You can you can probably tell why I play thirty lands. <laughs> yeah, I, I need to hit land drops. <laughs> yeah, have you considered running more lands? I mean, it started with twenty eight. It wasn't enough. We're up to thirty now. This is kind of a difficult decision for them. I could see them taking just about anything. No. That was the card I wanted them to take the least. So that's what I wanted to do this next turn. We draw another red source, we can play Storm's Wrath and also Expansion, copy it. We can kill Lovestruck Beast and everything. We are not doing a good job drawing another red source though. There they are. Can Jack is back. Getting the gifted sub. Santa Paul. Thank you, Santa Paul. Palmer B. Doesn't give it haste, right? Good. All right, just in case, I'm going to hold full control. And I don't I know it I know they can't attack with a love struck beast anyway, but I don't want to risk um, them just drawing Cauldron Familiar and then hitting me for you know eight damage. Like it's just it's not worth the risk. Um I do want more lands. Yeah, let's keep it. This is a nice one. Yeah, you got a, a gifted sub there, can Jack. Thanks, Paul. Well, thank you so much.
I don't want to do this. Do I want to Ether Gust my Uro and then also Expansion and Ether Gust their Devil? No, it's not worth the Ether Gusting that thing. The Devil, that is. But it's not worth Expansion for that. Um, I think I'm going to let this happen and then just Gust the Devil. So I guess we'll Agent of Treachery steal the Witch's Oven. If I, yeah, if I would have expansioned the murder, yeah, I'm losing two life. I, I want, like, I'm just going to explosion draw seven cards and kill this Mayhem Devil. Like, I think that's just a better use of the explosion. I need, I need card draw. Got one or two lands there. Just gotta stay alive. Can't let these things ping us to death. Okay, that's a problem. We get to look at another five cards with the escape. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess I can scry first also. That would not be a bad card, but... Okay, good. Ether Gust. Ether Gust, Growth Spiral, leaves me with two mana. Crisis. I'm gonna wait till after they draw. Right? Or no, maybe wait, do I Ether Gust right now? If I wait till after they draw, then they can still pop this other food token. Still pop that food and draw another card. But 
they're popping that food. They're spending two mana on it. I'm I'm okay with that. I may just sacrifice the agent treachery and just get a food and then crack the food and gain three life. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Right, crack that fable passage. Do it. Shuffle. Gotta shuffle. Gotta do that damage. Nah, I didn't do it. Okay. My casting escape. Yeah. More lands into play, please. More lands. We're gonna frogify this dragon noble. Don't think my opponent's probably expecting a frogify. <laughs> my lands we played there. One, two, three, four. Like four lands that turn. Should have been more. Basically, like how many lands my opponent has is how many we played that last turn. <laughs> this is why Field of the Dead is banned. I know, right? Can you imagine us having Field of the Dead with this? I can sack the Uro, get two food tokens also. Okay, let's play land. Rockify that thing. Storm's Wrath. Go to attacks. Attack. They can call they can block cauldron from with cauldron familiar, but that gets rid of their food. I'm all for that. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen would still let me have four mana left. I don't need thirteen, so twelve. So 12 would be X is 10. <laughs> 
Scrolling, scrolling is such a flex, isn't it? Scrolling lands. Um, discard. Yeah, it's true. We are, our deck is getting a bit low. We're at eight cards left in our library. Feels pretty good drawing 30 more cards than the Trail of Crumbs deck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the card's actually called Frogify. It's pretty crazy. We got another expansion explosion in here somewhere, right? That's one. Oh no, I guess we don't. So I have to be worried. I can't really steal two things because then I draw six cards and I lose. I've never really had this experience of not having more explosions. Like running out. Yeah, I can't take anything else. I have a lot of lands. I was like, I got five mana. No, I got a lot of lands. Oh, let's play another one. So I got four cards. Um, make a three three. All right, we have to attack them. Yeah, it's just I couldn't I couldn't play like both agents because I could I could only sack one agent to to the oven. I couldn't can't play the other one. Yeah, oh shucks. Forced to attack. I guess I should have let them take my 10-10 Krasis and then agent it back. That's what I should have done instead of sack the 10-10. Because then that's still, you know, like my thing, so it doesn't deal with the agent. I have uh, this, uh, this card, a Dryad and a Steam Vents. That's my library. They got 35 cards. That's their library. Yeah, we, we're attacking to win this game. Um... Hmm. 
Don't really see the point of... Is there anything to agent a treachery for first? Like, it's basically I have to kill them this turn, right? Like, that's it? I could, steal, I could try to steal the food, but then they just, you know, obviously bring it back with Cauldron Familiar. Ugh. I mean, the game's... The game has to end on this turn either way because of the Akron War kills all my creatures. Yeah, if I steal a crow in war, it's still... There we go. It's still kill all my creatures. I was attacking and winning. That's, that was, that's what I was about to do. My opponent conceded, though. But I was about to attack with everything and win. GG's. It would kill my creatures their next turn, but they they don't get another turn. All right, so we're number 458. We should probably stop playing at 458 when we have to finish top 1200. Like, that's definitely going to finish top 1200. But I want to play more. But it's like the smart thing to do is to stop... Hmm. No, uh, CVRS. I have no. I have no donation decks on the docket whatsoever right now. Today was the last two that I had. <laughs> Karn getting attacked. Please stop. Um. Yeah, teamer ramp is really strong. I really like. I really like what we've done with this teamer ramp deck. Even though we only, we just played two matches, we've played for an hour nineteen minutes. It's not like the shortest league, but yeah, I really like this. This list, we basically just draw through our whole deck. I'm, you know, like I, I like it without the Nissas and like the Storm Wraths give us a chance against aggro having four of these and then you know you have like the grazer that also blocks dryad's a good blocker and then your uro gains life crisis gain life and so on um it's like we can play another one in like the play queue but it's not, you know, the play queue is not. I don't want to go through like a whole event with this. This deck takes a while. Um. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Um, play Sparky. <laughs> yeah, so we're kind of in an awkward spot here. Uh, all right, we'll do one. First lot Sunday. All right, sounds good, CVRS. Thank you very much. Oh, I guess I have one for first lot tomorrow. Or yeah, I could I could play that donation deck right now. Uh, 
I don't know. Just move on to Soul Thai Food. Play that in an event. Yeah, I know. I feel really bad. That's the thing is I feel really bad for playing this in the play queue, honestly. All right. Well, it's because, yeah, we have like an hour, 45 minutes, which Soul Thai Food should take a long time. So we could just do that. All right. So we'll, that's what we'll do. We'll just move on to Soul Thai Food because, um, yeah. Okay. So sorry for y'all on YouTube. Um. You know, I've played this deck a couple other times before. So, uh, you know, we still had a, a pretty pretty decently long video here, hour 20 minutes with just the two matches. So even though it was just two matches, um, yeah, I mean, I think this deck's really good. I really like this deck. Um, but just like where we're at, it just makes sense to stop playing, which is kind of weird. Um, Uh, Horatio, I mean, I, I'll play. I can play your donation deck in in Mythic. I don't. That's that's fine. If you want me to play in ranked, I'm good. Like like I'll I'll do that. It's not any extra. You don't have to pay extra for that. Anyway, um, so yeah, those of y'all watching on YouTube, if you're if you're trying this deck out, let me know what you think of it. Um, like I said I really like this changes of taking out Nissa and everything. It this deck is it's just so crazy. The stuff that we were doing in those games is just incredible. Just having, you know, 20 lands in play all the time and then just huge expansion explosion. It's pretty, pretty crazy. All right, but there we go. So there's Teamer Ramp. Um, yeah, hit that like button over there and leave those comments, y'all, on YouTube. But thank you so much for watching, um, and I will see you for the next video. Also, let me know how... Also, leave those comments. Let me know how you did. Did you finish... Uh, you know, in Mythic also, you know, let me know how you did over there. What were you playing? All that kind of stuff. All right. Thanks for watching.